happy to be sharing with you on this crisp, beautiful spring morning together. Had a question to ask you. Have you ever had a time when uh, you've had somebody that you really didn't like in your life, but then you were forced to uh, interact or even work with them? I remember when we first started our Disciple Bible Series at Best Avenue Methodist, we uh, had over a hundred people in Tyson Hall gathered and we were going to break into ten groups and there was one guy over there I looked around and named Clyde that I just really didn't like and I was just going please God uh, put me in a group with anybody but Clyde we have over a hundred people here well you know what happened Clyde was in my group uh, when I went on uh, my very first Kairos uh, retreat or ministry retreat out at Donaldson uh, there was, uh, I was looking around the room with all the uh, inmates were there and there was this one guy that was sitting there and uh, his name was Doyle and I was just going, please God, uh, put me with every, anybody else in here but don't put me with Doyle. And uh, I didn't know his name at the time but uh, and you guessed the rest of it, Doyle was in my group. And uh, we worked together. Well this week in our, um, or this morning on our devotion, we're continuing our focus on Jesus' journey towards Jerusalem. And our scripture today is from Luke 17, 1 through, well, it says 1 through 9, but it's 1 through 19. And I really want to focus on the part of that scripture, verses 11 through 19. It happens to deal with uh, Jesus encountering the ten lepers. Jesus is heading south towards Jerusalem for his final journey there and he encounters these ten lepers that are grouped together in their misery and they cry out to be healed and we remember the story. Jesus heals them and then he tells them to uh, go and report to the priest and, uh, and we see them walk off but one comes back with gratitude and it's the Samaritan. Of all the ten, the one Samaritan, the most reviled, the most hated, you know the one that those nine did not want to be with, yet they were forced to be together and they had come together. He's the one that comes back. And the larger method, message that is there is, of course, the one with gratitude for the gift. But what I want to really focus on is that group of ten that came together. You see, like Clyde and Doyle, for me, when we came together, even though I did not want to be with them, when we came together, I found the goodness in them. And Clyde made the Disciple uh, series so wonderful for me, and he was such a blessing. And Doyle was at my table, and he turned out to be a very good friend. When I finally took the time to get to know him and to find out who he was. Well, Butch, that's a great story, but what does it have to do with anything? Well, right now, we're uh, in this COVID-19 situation. We are, at times, forced to interact with people, with workers or with neighbors that we may not like or may give us difficulties or challenges, and it's just been... Uh, um, We've been thrust into situations where it might be uncomfortable. And the greater message that I want you to focus on today is how can we find that goodness, that God-breathed goodness that is inherent in every single individual? And then how can we open our minds and our eyes and our ears to see that in them and to share God's love with them? There's a wonderful poet in our modern day named Maya Angelou, and Maya wrote this beautiful poem called Human Family. And if you haven't ever read it, I hope you will go Google it and read it. If you've read it but uh, and encountered it in the past um, but have not encountered it for a while, I would encourage you to go back and do it. And I want to read just a couple of things from there. Human Family. I note the obvious differences in the human family. Some of us are serious, some thrive on comedy. 
I've sailed upon the seven seas and stopped in every land, and I've seen the wonders of the world. Not, not yet one common man. I know 10,000 women called Jane and Mary Jane, but I've not seen any two who really were the same. I note the obvious differences between each sort and type, but we are more alike, my friends, than we are unalike. We are more alike, my friends, than we are unalike. We are more alike, my friends, than we are unalike. Would you pray with me? Gracious God, I pray that you wrap your arms around us, give us eyes to see and ears to hear and hearts to discern the goodness in all that we, of those that we encounter. Bless us in these challenging times to see the good in those that we meet and that we talk to, and even those that might be difficult, may we see that inner goodness that you've planted in each and every one of us. And it's in your precious Son's name we pray. Amen. I hope you have a great day. Uh, Palm Sunday is just two days away. God bless you all.